Soccer Club wants to buy a new soccer field. The total cost is $4,560 and each of the members of the each member of the club pays $30.40. How many members are there in this club? So this $30.40 represents a ratio. So it's going to be $30.40 per person. And this is going to be the same as if we wrote this as 45, 60 divided by X number of people. Okay, we could solve this as a proportional problem. Really in the end, if I want to solve, it's going to end up being the total amount divided by $30.40. And 40 cents per person. Okay, and then the, the units cancel out and we're going to be left with the number of people. So the number of people that we end up with is just going to end up being 4560 divided by 30.40. And so with there ends up being 150 members that shared this cost. Okay, and so the number of people is going to be, you know, I'm going to just write it over here, the number of people is going to be equal to the total cost divided by the cost per person. Okay, so it's going to be, that's what it looks like. So the next part says there's so much interest in buying a new field that the membership increases by X people. So we want to write an expression for the amount that each, that the, each member will have to pay now. So the total cost, again, doesn't change. The total cost was 45.60. Okay, so it's going to be 45.60 divided by, well, we had 150 members that we solved for, but we're going to increase that membership by X. And this is going to represent the new cost per person. The new cost per person. Okay, so... This is a, we also want to write the expression for the decrease in the amount that each member has to pay. So we should, the decrease is going to look like this. So the number, the original cost original cost per person minus new costs per person. Okay, so this is going to look like this. The original cost per person, uh, the original cost per person was $30.40. $30.40 minus the new cost per person, which I'm going to do in a different color here, is going to be this. It's going to be $45.60 150 plus the additional people who joined the club. So now we have an expression. Now we want to know when this expression is going to be $10 less. So we want this difference to be uh, $10. So we're going to now come up with an equation. We end up with this, this expression. We can make it an equals. So now we have an equation, and since we have an equation, we can actually solve this equation. So it's going to be 4560 divided by the number of people and we want this to be equal to $10 per person. Okay, So this is going to be $10 per person.
Okay, so there's our equation. We're going to go ahead and solve this. To solve a rational equation, what we want to do is we want to first get rid of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply through by that factor in the denominator. That factor is that whole piece, which is 150 plus x. So when I multiply that through, I end up with 30.4 times 150. Okay, so this is going to be 45, 60, plus 3 dollars, 30.4x, minus 4560, and that's equal to, and I need to multiply this out, so it's going to be 10 times 150, so 1500, plus 10 Okay, these are going to cancel out. There's zero pairs. I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides, so I'm going to end up with 20.4x on the left hand side. That's equal to 1500. Okay, so to solve for the number of people, we divide. So 1500 divided by 20.4. So 1500 divided by 20.40, we end up with 73.53 people. Okay, so now we can't have a fraction of a person, so we want each person to pay a little bit more than $10 less. We can say that we can round that up to 74 people.